Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Kali Linux is a powerful operating system. It's used by security professionals worldwide. Ethical hackers use it to test systems. They find vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Think of it as a digital toolbox. It's filled with tools for probing and analyzing networks. Kali Linux isn't for the casual user. It's designed for a specific purpose, security testing. It requires knowledge and skill to use effectively. In the wrong hands, it can be misused, but in the hands of ethical hackers, it's a force for good. This essay will explore one specific aspect of Kali Linux, GPS tracking. We'll delve into the tools and techniques. We'll discuss the ethical implications as well. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding these tools helps us build a safer digital world. GPS is everywhere. It's in our phones, cars, and even watches. It tells us where we are. It helps us navigate the world. But GPS has a hidden side. It can be vulnerable to hacking. How does GPS work? Satellites send signals to receivers on Earth. These receivers calculate their location, but these signals can be manipulated. This is where hackers come in. Hackers can exploit weaknesses in GPS technology. They can spoof GPS signals. This fools devices into thinking they're somewhere else. This can have serious consequences. Imagine a ship being steered off course or a drone being hijacked mid-flight. Understanding these vulnerabilities is crucial. It allows us to develop countermeasures. It helps us protect our critical infrastructure. It keeps our digital world safe. Kali Linux offers a range of tools for GPS tracking. These tools are powerful and versatile, making them suitable for a variety of applications. Whether you're an ethical hacker, a cybersecurity professional, or just someone interested in learning more about network security, Kali Linux has something to offer. These tools can be used for both good and bad purposes. Ethical hackers use them to secure networks and protect sensitive information, while malicious hackers might use them for nefarious activities. Understanding the dual nature of these tools is crucial. It's important to understand how they work. By gaining a deep understanding of these tools, you can better protect yourself and your network from potential threats. Knowledge is power in the world of cybersecurity. One such tool is GSocket. GSocket is a versatile networking tool that allows users to create secure connections between devices. It's particularly useful for remote access and can be a valuable asset in a cybersecurity toolkit. It's a versatile networking tool. With GSocket, you can establish encrypted connections, ensuring that data transmitted between devices remains secure and private. It allows users to connect to remote servers. This capability is essential for tasks such as remote system administration, secure file transfers, and accessing sensitive data from afar. This can be used to access GPS data from a device. By connecting to a device remotely, you can retrieve its GPS coordinates and track its location in real time. For example, a hacker could use GSocket to connect to a phone. Once connected, they could potentially access sensitive information including location data, messages, and more. They could potentially access its location data. This highlights the importance of securing your devices and being aware of the potential risks associated with remote access tools. Another useful tool is NetScanner. NetScanner is designed to scan networks for connected devices, providing a comprehensive overview of all devices on a network. This tool scans networks for connected devices, it can identify devices, their IP addresses, and other relevant information, making it easier to manage and secure a network. It can identify devices with GPS capabilities. This feature is particularly useful for tracking the location of devices within a network, ensuring that all devices are accounted for and secure. This information can be used to track the location of a device. By monitoring GPS data, you can keep tabs on the movement of devices, which is essential for both security and asset management. These are just a few examples of the tools available. Kali Linux offers a wide range of tools for various purposes, from network security to penetration testing and beyond. Kali Linux is constantly evolving. The development community is always working on new tools and updates to keep up with the latest cybersecurity threats and trends. New tools are being developed all the time, 
Staying informed about these developments is crucial for anyone involved in cybersecurity. It's important to stay up to date on the latest threats. By keeping yourself informed, you can better protect your network and devices from potential attacks. The Raspberry Pi is a small, affordable computer that has taken the tech world by storm. Originally designed to teach basic computer science in schools and developing countries, it has found a much wider audience. It's become a favorite tool among hackers, hobbyists, and tech enthusiasts alike. Its compact size and versatility make it an ideal choice for a wide range of projects. Why? It's versatile, portable, and easy to use. Whether you're building a home automation system, a retro gaming console, or a network security tool, the Raspberry Pi can handle it. It can be used for a variety of hacking tasks. This includes GPS spoofing, a technique that can have serious implications if misused. GPS spoofing involves sending fake GPS signals to trick devices into thinking they are somewhere else. This can be used to manipulate the location data of any GPS-enabled device. This tricks devices into thinking they are somewhere else, which can be used for various purposes, both benign and malicious. A Raspberry Pi can be used to create a fake GPS transmitter, effectively allowing the user to broadcast false location data. This can be used to spoof the location of a nearby device, making it appear as if it is in a completely different place. For example, a hacker could use a Raspberry Pi to spoof their location, making it seem like they are in a different country or even on a different continent. They could make it appear as if they were in a different country, which could be used to bypass location-based security measures or to commit fraud. This could be used to bypass location-based security measures, allowing unauthorized access to restricted areas or services. The Raspberry Pi is a powerful tool in the wrong hands. Its capabilities are vast, and while it can be used for good, it can also be exploited for malicious purposes. It's important to be aware of its capabilities and the potential risks associated with its misuse. Understanding these risks is the first step in developing effective countermeasures. This helps us develop strategies to mitigate the risks and ensure that technology is used responsibly and ethically. By staying informed and vigilant, we can harness the power of the Raspberry Pi for positive and innovative applications. Section 5. Geobox – Simplifying Location Spoofing Geobox is a software package. It's designed to make GPS spoofing easier. It runs on a Raspberry Pi. It provides a user-friendly interface. This makes it accessible to even novice hackers. Geobox offers a range of features. It can spoof GPS locations. It can emulate network traffic. It can even anonymize the user's identity. This makes it a powerful tool for malicious purposes. Law enforcement agencies are concerned about Geobox. It lowers the barrier to entry for cybercrime. It makes it easier for criminals to carry out sophisticated attacks. It's important to be aware of the existence of tools like Geobox. This helps us understand the evolving threat landscape. It allows us to develop effective countermeasures. Section 6. A Simulated Scenario – Ethical GPS Tracking in Action Let's imagine a scenario where ethical hacking is put to the test. A security researcher wants to test the security of a mobile application. This app is designed to use GPS data to track users' locations, providing services based on their whereabouts. The researcher is curious to see if it's possible to manipulate or spoof a user's location without their knowledge. To achieve this, the researcher needs to explore methods that don't involve direct access to the user's device, ensuring the test remains ethical. They decide to use a combination of tools, including Kali Linux and a Raspberry Pi, to set up a controlled environment for the test. Kali Linux, a powerful tool for penetration testing, and the versatile Raspberry Pi are perfect for this experiment. The researcher sets up a fake GPS transmitter, which will broadcast a false location signal. This transmitter sends out signals that mimic those of real GPS satellites, but with altered location data. The mobile app, receiving these signals, believes the user is in a different location than they actually are. As a result, the app displays an incorrect location, thinking the user is somewhere else entirely. 
This is just one example of how GPS tracking can be used ethically to test and improve security. Security researchers use these techniques to identify vulnerabilities in applications, ensuring they are robust against potential threats. Once these vulnerabilities are found, researchers report them to the companies that develop the apps, helping them to patch the issues. This collaborative effort between researchers and developers helps make our apps more secure, protecting users from potential misuse of GPS data. Section 7, Real-World Applications, where GPS tracking matters. GPS tracking has many real-world applications. It's used by law enforcement agencies. It helps them track suspects and solve crimes. It's used by businesses. It helps them track their vehicles and assets. GPS tracking is also used for search and rescue operations. It helps locate missing persons. It's even used by wildlife biologists. It helps them track animals in the wild. However, GPS tracking also raises privacy concerns. It's important to use this technology responsibly. We need to ensure that it's not used for illegal or unethical purposes. Section 8. The Ethical Tightrope – Using Your Knowledge Responsibly The tools and techniques discussed in this essay are powerful. They can be used for both good and bad purposes. It's crucial to use this knowledge responsibly. Ethical hacking is about finding vulnerabilities. It's about reporting them to the relevant parties. It's about making our digital world safer. It's not about exploiting vulnerabilities for personal gain. It's not about causing harm to others. If you're interested in learning more about ethical hacking, there are many resources available. There are online courses, books, and even conferences. The most important thing is to use your knowledge ethically and responsibly. Section 9. Conclusion GPS tracking is a powerful tool. It can be used for both good and bad purposes. Kali Linux provides a range of tools for GPS tracking. These tools can be used by security professionals. They can be used to test the security of systems. However, these tools can also be used by malicious actors. It's important to be aware of the risks. We need to take steps to protect ourselves. This includes being aware of the tools and techniques used by hackers. It also includes using strong passwords and being careful about the information we share online. By understanding the threats, we can better protect ourselves. We can make our digital world a safer place.